Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to another Fucking video. <laughs> so we're um, down here today at Wakefield. Hey, it's going to be a big day. The sign on is one of the best bits. Yeah, it is, isn't it? You guys love the, you rate the sign on? I love the sign on. Yeah, we got the crew here today. We got Shehan, we got Sean, we got Lucas, yeah. Uftio, dog rolls, and a broken GTR. <laughs> Hell yeah. Black guy. <laughs> And we've got the Accord down here, uh, freshly tuned from the last videos you guys would have seen. Uh, only changes I've made since then is I've put the Recaro back in and then put some stickers on it too. So um, now we're just going to go down, figure out what's happening and sign on. Okay, so the time now is uh, 20 to 8. The sign on and registration and all that sort of stuff uh, starts at 8. So what we're going to do is just start pulling things out of the car. Uh, we brought all some all gear down it's about a two and a half hour trip down from sydney to get here uh, so we bought a whole bunch of gear and uh, we'll also pull out the spare wheel uh, all the other stuff that's sitting in the boot uh, make sure there's nothing loose in the car flying around uh, and then it's ready to go um, if we get creative we might take out the rear seats but i don't know if we should be bothered so we'll see how we go Alright, so we're signed on. Shehan, you signed on, mate. Orange group. Got my, got my ticket. I'm in red group. We don't know what that means yet. Uh, we've got our timer on there and we're ready to go. So we're just waiting for driver's briefing now. Uh, and um, some really, really nice cars here. I'll show you a couple of them. Uh, but it should be a really, really fun day. So keep a driver's brief to get started. Alright guys, so we've finished driver briefing and I'm in the first group, so red group's out first. Uh, so getting the car ready, I need to put my long pants on. Uh, but it should be good, I'm excited. I'll stick the GoPro on the helmet and we'll see how we do. So we just finished um, session one. The car went pretty well. Um, I wasn't really pushing it too hard because I've never taken it out in this sort of context. Um, managed a 116.38 or something like that. Um, so obviously not the times we're looking for, but it's first session out. Just taking it easy, get to learn the car, see where the limits are. Um, also then came back in and adjusted tire pressures, adjusted the dampening, um, stiffened them up, dropped the tire pressures, because um, they were a little bit high at the end of it. So. Hopefully that makes a difference and we'll see how it goes on the next one.
was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. I tried a different line on the kink to see where I could break and I just like, I got, well do you know how the rear comes out heaps easy and then just hit like this weird patch on the road and just slid and I just couldn't do anything. How's it looking? Good. I reckon he could fix that by pumping it. Yeah. Yep. It's like a drum and Nathan was fucked off the. He had to go around through there to take it somewhere, didn't they? So what happened, Brian? So, kink, turn one. I was trying to figure out a new line. I just wasn't paying attention properly. And I, get, I lifted off, lift off over here. And that was it, game over. So, um, it looks like this is just de-beaded. So we'll take it down to the pump. And it should, you know, inflate back on and beat on again. And we should be good to go. All right, let's give it a go. You know what is annoying? I was gonna get, was gonna get John's. Two minute call for Orange Group. That's all drivers with Orange Half Minutes. Two minute call will be a time session. The, um, I was going to get John Boston, who's the track driver school guy here, to sit in with me. Because like, I just wasn't feeling that comfortable. Yeah. Um, but well, he was preoccupied and I couldn't get him. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just go out and just try some things. And this is the result. Well, now's maybe the perfect time to go and. Yeah, hopefully the car's all good. Yeah. We went into limp mode, so it wouldn't rev past 3,000. Yep. So we just have to make sure it's not anything too bad. What tyres are you using, Brian? What tyres? Yep. Nido Invo Blinds. Yeah, here. Yeah. Do you see it on the rim? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Well, is that so you using Nido Invo? Uh, yeah. Nido Invo Blinds. How do you find them? So far, pretty good. When they stay on. Yeah, when they're on the wheels, they're good. <laughs> we were a little bit worried because you sat there for a minute and then you crawled off and we were like, oh, okay. I was just like, He's okay. Yeah, I was like, the car turned off. Yeah. And then I was just making sure there was no one coming around and the car wasn't like fully fucked. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, cool, I can just call out now. Alrighty, great um, success. All the wheels back on. Alright, so we got the um, the wheel back on the car. So now we're just checking whether um, there's any other issues with it. 
making sure the alignment's all good, make sure there's no damage to mechanicals or anything. And if it's fine, then we might be able to go out again later. So we'll just test it out. Just gotta go on the street, because we need to run past 3,000. We'll see if it will work. I was just sitting there and I was like, mm, <laughs> I wasn't even like angry or sad, I was just like, oh, fuck. Yep. Just more like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, let's Is, so we can go out there and spin it again. Alright, so we just went out with John Boston and got some tips on driving lines and when to brake and that sort of thing. Um, see how I go with confidence on this next run, but I'll try and do what he said, see if it makes a difference, have a bit of fun and uh, see how we go. Finished um, second time run. Uh, felt pretty good. The guys reckon I've shaved over a second of my time, so I think I'm down to a 115.1, so down from a 116.389. So that's pretty good. Um, really happy with that. Definitely driving some better lines and keeping the car more balanced. Um, it's getting really hot now, as you can probably tell by my face. So the brakes are fading and the tires are starting to slip a little bit. But um, yeah, definitely it feels really good. Um, the car's doing well considering what I put it through already today. Um, and we'll see, uh, maybe I'll go it one more time and then call it a day. So we'll see though. All right guys, so um, didn't end up doing another session. Basically it's just too hot. Uh, with I think the temperature is somewhere in the like mid 30s. Um, so hot that my GoPro has actually like stopped working properly. Um, it's like just overheated. So I don't even know if I've got GoPro footage from the last run now. So if that's not in this video, then I apologize, but it's the heat. So basically I just decided it's too hot. The tires are getting slippery. The brakes are fading. I just didn't want to keep pushing it. Um, obviously lost confidence when I came off the track earlier. So 
better just to be safe rather than sorry. Um, came out, had a good day, shaved uh, 1.2 seconds off my original time, so that's really good. And um, yeah, we'll come back for a next one. Obviously, um, I was ex hoping, not expecting, but I was hoping I could get the car a little bit quicker. Um, so we were just nudging what the one. 14s. So I was really hoping to be in like the 13s. Uh, the time I was hoping to be was 113.4, but we were a while off that. Uh, reason for that, one, I haven't driven this track in like three or four years, and prior to that, I'd only driven it once or twice. Um, two, hadn't driven this car on track before, um, and I don't know, you can put down the heat and other things, but it really just comes down to me, uh, my driving ability and my familiarity with the car and the track itself. So that's going to be it for today's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, hey.